Right guys, uh, welcome to the channel. I hope you're having a great day. So I'm not sure if you can hear that, but it's a bit bloody windy today. I was checking on the weather app on my phone and it said something about we're going to be getting the tail end of some storm or something, uh, the wind and that coming down this way. So it's supposed to be a hell of a lot worse tomorrow. But <laughs> I can feel it today and I've got an open face helmet on. I mean, it's that windy that there's no clouds directly above me. Yeah, I'm still feeling tiny bits of water from whichever bloody cloud it's coming from. God, I've missed my baby. Right, so, topic for this vlog. I thought I would go over a few things that I plan on doing. Um, some, maybe sometime in the summer when I've got a few more pennies to, to my Lucy. So there are a few bits that need changing out, um, just for the fact that some bits have corroded because I bought cheap. Other bits just because I want to change it. Uh, what I'll do for each of the bits that I plan on getting, uh, I'll be putting up a picture and if I can find a picture of that particular item on this bike, then I'll put that up. If not, then it'll just be a general photo. So I think one of the first things I'm going to need to get, uh, it's going to be one of the cheapest bits I think, um, but in the grand scheme of it, is my shift pedal covers. Uh, I bought some copies of the Curiacan shift pedals and I'll put a photo up somewhere on the screen. And they're pretty much identical, but the chrome is nowhere near as good and neither is the rubber. Um, the back piece on one of the mine is the, the rubber's just come out completely and the front's corroding a little bit. And the same goes for the brake cover. I got an extended brake cover, which is again a copy of the Curiacan Longhorn, I think it's called. Um, I was nine or ten quid from China, whereas the Curiacan one's about 35, 45 quid, something like that. And all, I mean, as great as this feels, the front of it, the chrome has started to pit and bubble, and which is obviously not good. So that's going to be my first change and I'm assuming it's going to cost me around 70 quid something like that second thing I'm going to do I'm going to change the ram mount for my sat nav um, if you ever watch or if you actually I don't know if Skeggy's ever done a close up of this but see this speedo here they've got four screws two at the front two at the back the one at the back he's got a ram mount screwed onto that which makes everything a bit cleaner a bit nicer gets rid of all this crap that's around here oh, sorry around here I was looking up then um, so yeah, I'll be getting one of them, and actually that's cheapest, that's probably 14, 15 quid, unless I can find a, a decent copy. Um, so the sat nav should be mounted a little bit more closer like here, so it's not sticking out as much. Uh, the reason I stuck it up like that is when I went to London, I, uh, I couldn't see my sat nav too well, and because I didn't know where I was going, I wanted just to be able to have a quick glance and know exactly where I was. The other thing I'm going to be getting in summer is chrome clutch lever and brake levers. Just because I really like them and these things, well, they're just a pain in the arse to clean and keep looking shiny. So, so I'm going to get them at some point. Uh, to be honest, I think my first paycheck from my new job, I should be able to get all of that in, in one go. Oh, I've missed you, son. I don't, <laughs> I'm not sure this is affecting the audio too much, but Damn it, it's bloody windy. Uh, which brings me on to my next thing. I loved my windscreen, the look of the windscreen, uh, but I hated riding with the windscreen. But there is one thing that I've wanted since I've got this bike that I've not been able to afford initially for it. I couldn't justify the cost at the time, but it's something I really want now. And uh, you've seen Batwing fairings, it's pretty, I put a picture up of the Street Glide, the Harley Street Glide special. That's got a Batwing style fairing in it. I love that. I can't afford that bike. So there is a company called Sukayu, and I believe I am saying that correctly. Oh, that's a bit of a squeeze. Let's get try and get to the front. Oh, are these mirrors in my way? Nope. saying uh, 
the uh, I believe the company's called, I think it's pronounced Sukayu. Better not put a picture and why not put up on the screen. Uh, they do a Batwing fairing which has a uh, stereo, actually no, it doesn't have a stereo in it. It's got two waterproof speakers in it, it's got a storage compartment, it's got a port in there, a USB so you can charge your phone, and then it's got an audio out so you can plug an iPod in, and it's also got Bluetooth built in so you can transfer your music and everything to the speakers. So this is something I've been looking at for a while and I would really, really like one so I'm definitely going to get one of them at some point. And yeah, I mean, I've, I've spoke to Skeggy about it before and a few other people and there's a few people that want one but I haven't been able to justify the cost and that's because the actual Batwing Fair and one of the first people that started doing them for metric bikes and other bikes did, obviously it didn't come with anything, no stereo and they are so expensive and that's meant for shades it, they work out about 460 to 500 pounds maybe a little bit more if you want the want the chrome trim around the top and uh, i mean the extra fairing on it it's just that's just a lot of money whereas for only a tiny bit more than that i can get the same thing which is stronger quick release and also has speakers in it storage and um, um, every, all the other bells and whistles let's get in front of these So yeah, that's something I'm definitely going to be getting, but again, it just depends on uh, when I've got the money spare for it and whatnot. Something else that I would like to get, uh, I mentioned it in the last video as well, um, I would like to get a battery gauge, a battery meter, maybe in a little chrome housing or something, and put it here where the GoPro mount was. Have that wired up, so because I've got all the accessories on the bike, I'll just be able to see the state of my battery. Uh, when I'm riding and how it's doing etc. I'd also like to get for the other side for where the, where the uh, sat down mount currently is obviously after I've moved it I'd like to get a tachometer as well. Uh, Bike Choice do a battery gauge and a tachometer uh, both pretty much the same so I could have two nice gauges either side so that will be something I'm getting at, at some point um, it will be sometime this year I'm hoping around summertime when I've got a few more pennies. So there's something else I'd really like to get as well is uh, Sukayu's Jumbo Strong Bags. They're panniers. Um, I mean, I love the look of the matching panniers. Uh, the ones I've got on here, I think, personally, look awful. But the reason I got them is because I was carrying camera gear around with me so much and I needed solid metal bags. And uh, the, uh, the company Hepco and Becker were the only ones that did a full metal uh, pannier frame that was sturdy. But Sakayu, their bags just look amazing, their ABS bags. And I have a friend now who can uh, fabricate uh, parts for me. So I will be getting them at some point. Um, it's just trying to justify the cost of those really because I've already got two huge panniers that I don't ride with unless I have to. So as it stands, they're kind of the only few things I'm definitely going to be getting. A um, few of the little niggly bits I'm going to be doing. Um, I'll be adding a couple more extra lights to the bike. Uh, the top box, I'm going to be changing out the reflectors for light up reflectors. And the same goes for either my current panniers or my new panniers. I'll be adding, uh, whoa, that wind was a bit strong. <laughs> I'll be adding uh, running lights, brake lights and turn signals into them as well. And a power socket in them. So we'll see anyway, it's going to be a bit of a project, but thankfully whilst I'm doing everything um, for any reason my bike is off the road whilst I'm doing it, or a park maybe in a garage or wherever I'm not going to be without work which is the one thing I'm thankful for with this job, I can always get the bus for a couple of weeks to work Selfie. I can't be the only one that looks at you, so <laughs> looks at myself when I go past something, something shiny like a window. So yeah, uh, I mean, as it stands there, the only few things that I can think of that I'm definitely going to be doing. Um, the panniers is not a definite, that's a very, very strong maybe. But uh, yeah, I've got all summer to get it done anyway. And yeah, so <laughs> uh, that's it, I'll just end up blabbling now. Uh, I'm just hoping there's going to be space in this car park so I let the bikes fill up pretty quick and I think the council made this car park with the idea that 
motorbikes were the sizes of skateboards because this thing just, just does not fit in it at all so I love it in here, it's just echoey and makes my bike even sexier a lot <laughs> oh, I'm such a frigging kid really hoping this space because I reckon they'll kick off if I park in a car space oh, oh come on lift up lift up lift up there we go no friggin spaces I'm gonna have to park up one Is there any here? Nope, car's in there. It's up again. Bloody hell, it's going to tell me that this car park's full. Alright, and this is all full here. I'm guessing that is disabled. There's one. Oh, it's just such a friggin' sexy noise. So currently I'm just riding with the green lights on and that is because I faffed around with the controller and now it's not going blue properly. So I've ordered a new controller and uh, we'll see what it's like. So don't forget if you enjoyed the video to give it a thumbs up, subscribe. If you want to see any more of the videos, click on channel and click videos and they're all there. Alright, take care all, have a good day and ride safe.